people, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I'd do a pretty fun but cringeworthy video, and it's where I look back at my games that I wanted to be popular but never happened because I was a really bad builder. By the way, welcome to my art gallery, y'all. Um, this gallery was built by Ken, same dude who made my studio and <coughs> my intro. Pretty rad builder, if you ask me. Um, so, oh yeah, I'll link his channel down below if you want to go subscribe to him. This gallery actually isn't complete yet because I have yet to put more artwork up. Oh, I didn't mention this, sometimes I'll come here and film, sometimes I'll be at the other, um, I'll be at my main studio, so it really varies on my mood and what I'm feeling. Oh yeah, this is the front, by the way. Like, look, guys! Look how well this built- Oh yeah, um, I made this on my own. So if you guys come here and want to look at my social media, then here it is. I will link this game down below the description box if you want to, like, look for yourselves. Um, anyways. Today, I thought I, like, react to my own games. They're super old. I wanted to become a builder in the past, but unfortunately, that never happened because all my buildings suck and I have not played these games in, like... So long. I'm gonna only react to uh, a few. Some of the other games probably weren't as good or like incomplete, but I'll re go to the games that I considered like my best building, and I don't know to be honest what this video is. Anyways, let's get started. Welcome to Double B the Action Box. This game was somehow got a thousand visits. I think this got the most popular. And this, and in the past there was like games that had, uh, you know, characters in funny scenarios or so. And other than a bunch of DB characters, there's also characters that are o DB OCs of other people that never made the game or actual users. Uh, by the way, that is Ken here. That's Cold Drum. I forgot this dude's name. I think that's. Am I pronouncing his name right? Like, Solozaki something something. I met that guy in Blocks Cards, Godly Cena. I forgot his name as well. Um, and I think that's Savannah. Yeah, Savannah. So, a lot of these, yeah, they're also like popular YouTubers like Mustache World. That, that Sylvia that I never even bothered, um, I never even bothered, like, rendering. There's a dimension, yeah. Um, we have that golden plate, no, bronze plate and that rifle main. Um, there's also, like, like, uh, our older RTC members that were here and YouTubers. Um, Rachel Dubs was a really big one in the past. I think she deleted her account. There's Holiday Poder. Uh, these two were popular Roblox devs, like her new toys. Um, yeah, there's like a lot of, uh, like DB character OCs. If you climb up here in a moment. Oh, yeah, and there's also like references that refer to me because this is Luigi here and this one. So to the later, they were like my favorite boss. And Dexter was there. <laughs> and then these are the former boss fighting stages champion. Um yeah, some other other like old characters. Uh <laughs> Yellow Winchester, Soul Barber that for some reason never made it to the reborn version. And then Drago, the creator, Devil Feeder, I forgot this, that dude's name, and, like, based on actual users, like, these are actual users, they're not characters, they're actual users, um, there's some uh, characters that are actual characters from, that are not Devil Feeder related, this is the Beast and Alex, yeah, they're, um, scrapped TMM slash Matt Painful characters, that I scrapped, and I decided to bring them back here. <coughs> um, 
Oh, Imogen's old design is all the way there. This is before she got a makeover, and also there's Pico's OC before she got added into the game, and yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty rad if you ask me. Oh yeah, this cat from TMN. I forgot who that is. Um, that's Chris. Chris Barrent, the former Roblox employee. And I don't need to name all of them, so I think that's my place. I think we spent enough time here. Um, let's move on. Welcome to the next place. This is called Fashion Show, and in the past, fashion shows were like a thing. Like, sometimes fashion designers will host fashion shows, and they give you themes, and you get the gist. Um, so I wanted to create my own because I was like a big fan of fashion shows at the time. Um, <laughs> yeah, you guys know who these two are. I think some of you may know who these are. Uh, I set up a scenario because I thought it was really funny. Because that's actually a good representation of how the Seven Suzuki gets along. Except they don't use their power because that's really abusing and it's really not painful, it's just Um I can't I don't know the name. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm cringing! <laughs> Oh my god. Um, for those of you who are wondering what this is, this is like my edit of the Mad Murder because I, I was a huge Mad Murder fan. So this right here consists of uh, very cringy old screenshots. Let me know the- oh! This one is a really interesting one because I entered that in the Roblox Community Fan Art Competition. Where the Roblox employees were the judge. And this got featured by Roblox as a runner up. I was like really surprised because I thought I would, would like fling the whole competition. But this is a 2013 artwork. This is the actual blog. This is an archive. Unfortunately, the pictures of the artworks were deleted. And I'm really sad. Right in here are super old screenshots that I had. I was going to do a reacting to old screenshots video. However, the 2010 and 2012 ones were way at the back of the page of decals. So I think it's time I do it right now. I don't remember like how many years has it been. Also, um... But, these are all very old screenshots, and some edits as well. Uh, the more I look at it, the more I either cringe, or I just don't know what I was doing. Um, honestly, the memories though. And if you go outside here, you see the really cringy runway with a stool, which I call it the pan, with a ginger pan. I don't know! Look, this is like old, bi <coughs> like old buildings that never made it or I'm just super lazy and never even tried to build. But I wanted to become a builder and I guess this is what happened. I'm sad. Welcome to the next place that I'm gonna be reacting to. My old gallery. Holy crap, I can't believe how far I've come. Um, I think these drawings were a long time ago. Um, I think like 2013 or 2014. Um, so yeah, I think this is still explanatory. I didn't want to create a traditional like actual art gallery. Only because it took too much time in my hands. Uh, some of these artworks were featured, uh, on my old art channel, in speed paints. And sometimes the art would go at the back as well, if I don't, well, I think it just makes sense for something, I don't know. Uh, 
But we can all agree that I'm I was uh I use paint net and then like an old paint tool side and I still can't believe how far I've come. Um oh yeah, this is the improvement for people who are wondering. And if I did this again, I think I would just be so shocked of how much I've come. Flander was my favorite Toho character, like, in the past. Oh, in addition, uh, I used to do, like, these paper dolls a lot, but I stopped because they were taking too much time for me. I don't think I need to, like, tour the entire thing because we all know what is happening here. I think... I think here, this is the last artwork that I posted. Welcome y'all to my first ever art gallery that also includes some uh, early graphic editing. This is the first person who commissioned me. This is actually one of my favorites in the past and I think it's all self-explanatory. Uh, this was full so I didn't bother. This was my old, old pretty care fan art that I made. Um, so glad I approved. Oh, remember Reese McBlock? Is Shedlaski's wife? Actually, Shedlaski is married to Bright Eyes. Sorry, I done goofed. The more I look at this, I'm s don't know why I'm doing this. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go to the next place so I can like get away from this because I am gonna die from like looking at all my old drawings that I made in, like, 2011. Welcome, everyone, to Sword Fight in Winter Wonderland. Yes! <laughs> this was actually the only one that I'm really proud of. I'm not gonna even lie. To be honest, this is like the only, only, only. <coughs> this is the only game I'm really proud of. That's it. That's all I can say. I'm like so proud of it. <laughs> um, it's because there were like soft bites and whatever, like soft bite in Candyland or soft bite on the bridge, and then I'm like. I'll oh, make a game on Surfing and Winter Wonderland because I am that not creative and I love winter because it snows a lot in Canada. Um. <laughs> I'm so, like, four out of ten. <coughs> I think. <coughs> Why is this no man a beast? I don't know. <coughs> He had too much snow cone? <laughs> I'm cringy. Oh my god. By the way, the face here, <laughs> this is a free decal face, and everything else was just purely made for me, except for the decal, because I was a free person thingy, free person decal, a free person thing. Um, there's that, so, oh yeah, these are frozen, I didn't know how to make, make it like water, like transparent, um, uh, yeah. We don't need to, we don't need to, whatever. To the next place! Welcome to my really cringy skate park. I, I, I believe, um, I believe some of them were free models, but some of them were like purely made. Um. <laughs> Wait, they're not working? Okay, that was probably because. <laughs> Wait, are you serious? Are you serious? 
<laughs> no. Break this place, mate. What do you give it out of a 10? Negative 6. I wasn't able to drop my skateboard, that's what it is. <laughs> Some of them were free models, and I'm, I did this in one night, and I put no effort to it. I think that kind of makes sense. Because I was a lazy person at the time, and my skateboard isn't working. Uh, <laughs> I don't have a hoverboard, so oh my god. I don't know when blocks work, I think it- oh. I had to buy it. Of course. Uh, commission thing, I don't know. Really? I don't remember- I don't remember- Go look for this. Oh, oh my god, yeah, I had to use like game- like, like, get like, gears at the time until the funds were a thing to me. I can't- okay. I just realized there's no- there's no key to get out of the hoverboard right now. Um... Unless I reach that, of course. Uh... <laughs> I'm still cringing at it. As always. This, this is why I never want to be a builder again. I want to be an artist instead, so... Hey look, I'm your biggest fan! <laughs> no! <laughs> Oh yeah, I remember this place was like a studio place as well because this was also at the time when I would film my videos if I want to give updates or something like that. I think there's one last place that I have yet to see and I'm really really not excited for it because it was really really badly built as always. I think- I feel like all- Would you like to stop more? <laughs> no! Maybe? I'll take that as a yes. They ask you how you are, you don't just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. This one you're gonna really cringe at. What, this one? Yes! I was a big Angry Bird fan in the past, and I think this explains all. I wanted this oh, to- uh, the slingshot doesn't work. <coughs> really? I think it's super glued it again. Um, the Super Bowl was. Why is there a frying pan? Uh, because the picket- Oh yeah. Do you not know how Angry Birds went? Yeah. I still play it, by the way. But like, just- Only- I stopped playing it because I got too old over it. Um, I play it online. That's it, I only play it online. Um, so at the time, I didn't know how to make ramps. So I used a lot of trust. Trust. Like, trust. Yes. Trust. Yes. You have trust issues. <laughs> yeah, I do. This picture right here, because I get- not work either. Huh? This Super Bowl doesn't work either. What? Mine's working. Ow. It works, but it doesn't shoot where you're aiming. Oh yeah, true. Um, I hurt myself with it. Um... This pitch, giant picture is here, because game icons at the time did not exist. So I all I had to do was position myself right here and then save and then it would show up on the the like the thumbnail before the thumbnail. So the, so where you're standing that's what I would do in studio. And by the way, I did not upload this. This was a free decal. Also the eggs were um I think the eggs I believe were free decal and I built the frying pan on my own. Yeah. Well, uh, I happen to have a frying pan, so I'm gonna smack you to death. NANI! So what did you get for ruining my boss's snowman childhood? I'm sorry. Oh my god, someone else joined. This is making me cringe more. But my friend came. Tell him that I'm it's... cringing at it really bad. Because this is... <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? I think that's all the games that I had to cringe at. There was one more my first ever game. It was called Climb the, Climb the Rainbow Trust. But I took Climb it away the because Trust. I deleted it. No, I put it to inactive because I was so I was really bad. I was cringing at it really bad that I really don't want to play it. 
No, really, I didn't want to play it, like, for this video, because I would... Bro, just make a script to where it changes the color of trust and you're done. Yeah! <coughs> <coughs> yeah, true. So that is it for today. I guess a really big lesson that I took away from making this video and looking at my places is, um, I guess I didn't really find joy into building things, especially games. And I didn't really put as much thought into it, and I didn't realize how much work has to be put into it to be a very popular game. So I found joy into being an artist instead. Uh, you know, maybe being a freelance. That's something that I didn't really think about. That's something I'm thinking about, but haven't really put to consider it. So... I never want to build ever again. Unless it's a tiny thing, then that's a different story. I build like tiny things once in a while, but not huge games like Sofi Winter Wonderland or Angry Birds gameplay. Uh, yeah, I guess big lesson for you guys as well is to do something that makes you happy. I don't know, I guess motivational words for me, <laughs> somewhat. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed me cringing at my games. If you have any other suggestions for future videos, please leave the comments down below. I read most of them and please be considered what you suggest to me. Please do not suggest any roleplay, anything that could get me banded, anything that can make it uncomfortable, you name it all. And I will link Ken's uh, YouTube channel down below in the description box. And also, thank you for being in my video as a guest, and I will link my gallery in the description box if you want to go see it for yourself. It's still in progress, I have to put artwork up still, and see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!